Welcome to the Laboratory of Elegant Interaction. Science has always strived to understand the intricate workings of the mysterious mind. In an effort to shed light on this age-old mystery, we have rounded up some fascinating subjects here at the laboratory. Valentine, our chronic introvert, an elegant but sensitive creature. Her drive to remain mysterious is so strong that she masks her face. However, she is acutely aware of how she is perceived. this quandary is to simplify life. None of us have perfect symmetry in this world, but Sadie has unfortunately blown this out of all proportion. She is driven by an irresistible inner force to reject balance and favor for a more esoteric slant. Sadie is a compulsive asymmetric. Irina, globophobic. Put in layman's terms, she has a fear of balloons, or rather, that the balloon might pop. A classic symptom of party girls who never want the party to end. To her and many others, perhaps this seems to be a logical anxiety. <sighs> Florence, an extreme hoarder. She finds it impossible to relinquish even one garment, although there are clearly a greater number here than she could ever hope to wear. She simply can't bear to let them out of her grasp. These ladies are uncontrollably verbose. They simply cannot stop talking. Great. Oh, the champagne, if you know what I mean. Oh my god, there he is, the man of my dream. Where is my lasso? Yeah. No, it was a nightmare. And I'm scrabbling up. Especially my hair and my jewelry. Ah. I'm trying to save myself. Come on, the light goes up. My hat, my hat. It was awful. Jan and Lydia lived so intensely that they find it impossible to keep all of their experiences inside. But then I couldn't believe yeah, it. There was a flamingo carrying my clutch bag. What? We have seen a whole host of fascinating characters at the laboratory of elegant interaction. Once we overcome initial suspicions, we learn these are the ladies who are indeed stranger than paradise. Join us next week as we continue in our quest to decipher the puzzle of the mysterious mind.